Hello Zebraherd, welcome back to Plan for the Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Today we're taking a look at the Feastivus Master costume for the engineer, the final Feastivus item you can unlock in the prize map. You might be able to hear that it's actually the snow day event now, but we're to be ignoring that. That, that'll that showcase uh, next episode is the Snow Day event. I was a little late for showcasing this one costume, though. But we're going to get into it. Of course, he is a master of Feastivus. Funny business. Very, very cool. So we're going to equip that right now. Equip the entire costume. Obviously, it is a recoloring of the Inspiration Elf. Uh, making him look a little bit more like Santa Claus than an elf. I like it a lot. It's pretty cool. I like the coloring. And I like how they changed the, the giraffe so that he looks like he is uh, purple. <laughs> I don't know why. I just like the red, orange, and purple color combo. Pretty cool. So yeah, we're gonna be going online with the engineer today, playing with the Beast of its Master in some, no, not not that, uh, turf takeover and see how it goes. Okay, so it looks like we're getting started on the attack team. It's not a very big round. I'm not gonna worry about it too much. I'm just gonna go ahead and put down some speed boost and get going, we're gonna capture this park. We'll see how well we can do this with a smaller team and going against a smaller team. I mean, I haven't played in a couple days, so it might go great, might go not so great. There's a Rose over there. Maybe I'll just leave her be, but you know what? Let's get some friends out here to help us out, even if it's just one. Nobody seems to be around at the moment. Okay, there's a cactus coming in. Um, so I'm going to get right here and start going towards this cactus who's trying to run away. She got away, but that's fine. To be honest with you, I don't know where she's gonna try to go. She's gonna go right here, which is sort of what I was expecting. She tried to get a sneak up on me. Not quite happening. I'll also throw the speed boost down if I can. It won't let me. There we go. I want to be careful of these, though. Got it. Okay. No, my turret. Darn. Oh, it looks like it did get rid of her, though. Very nice. That's good. That doesn't happen to me too often that my heavy helper actually gets a vanquish. It's still two versus two, but we're capturing this quite quickly. I'm going to throw the stun down now. That way, hopefully, they might accidentally run into it. Let's get this set up as well. And where are they? I don't know. Uh, looks like we're gonna be able to get this if they don't do anything soon. Oh, hello. There we go. Heavy helper definitely got that one. We're gonna zoom off to the next point. Oh, hello. Come on, get you. Oh, no. Oh, you actually got me there. <laughs> Darn. Not so good, but that's okay. It looks like one of them changed into a nightcap, so I have to be careful about that. I don't know. This all stars all on his own. I gotta help him out. Why are we way back here? Wow, we're moving quick. Whoop. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the left then. If they're all into the right, I might as well go to the left and see if we can't just sneak onto that point, get some things set up. Definitely try to spawn in a couple of friends. But anyways, yeah, I would love to talk a little bit more about the um, the Feast of His Master costume. It was actually one of the few things I predicted for Feast of His was having a, um, what's it called? Having a Santa engineer. Just because, you know, he's sort of the, the big belly type of character in Plant vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. So it made sense for him to sort of look like Santa Claus. And it looks pretty cool. I'm happy with it for sure. All right, so we spawned in a couple of zombie friends. I should be able to throw down my turret whenever it's available. I guess it must have been somewhere else and gotten destroyed. Um, all right, well, I don't know where that nightcap ran off to. Oh, here you are, here you are. You're being blocked by the umbrella, though. That sort of stunk. Oh, there you are, there you are, getting stunned again. Yes, okay, there's another Vanquish for us. Now we actually have a higher attack speed. Um, let's stay together. And actually, we're about to reach level 10. Okay, that's good. Yeah, we didn't quite do that uh, last episode, or the last time we played Engineer. Okay, so, almost there. What you doing, Cactus? Can't quite get you from this angle. There you are, there you are. Gotcha, awesome. Okay, oh, Nightcap was right here for a moment. Throw it on the stun, throw it on the stun. Come on, get her quick, get her quick. Yeah, I got her, nice. All right, well, she destroyed my turret. Unfortunately, it happens. Um, I would like to throw this down, and we're going to speed on over to the next point as soon as I can. It still seems like it's two versus two, but we're doing great. I'm pretty happy with everything. Yeah, overall, the colors are nice. Oh, here you are for this uh, costume. I always sort of wish that there were more differences between the final costume and the 100% reward costume. You know, we've had the same thing for the pretty and kitty cap. Uh, between the two of them now, the elf and the Santa, I do think I like the Santa a little bit better, but that's where I'd love to ask you guys, which one do you prefer more, more the uh, Santa or the elf costume for the engineer? And on top of that, were you able to get both of them? Would love to hear all about that too. And of course, I'm so excited to start working on the snow day um, thing, the snow day prize map. That's all stuff that we'll be starting with in the next episode. Oh, big jump, ah, oh, not quite. So did they get more people joining up here or it looks like it. Either that or they both change classes. Both are possible, I just don't really know. Um, anyways, we got a prize bulb for that. Let's take a look. No, okay, it's three versus three. Now things are picking up. 
Okay, very cool. I do see a pea shooter or an acorn or something moving down this way. I just want to try to throw these down and beat him up however I can. Oh, that worked pretty well. Time six vanquish jerker. No, oh, hello. Oh, hello. No, no, no. Okay, got her. Wow, this is going great. And we have a uh, space cadet on our team now. Did that get him? I don't think any of those shots landed on him. At least any of my shots. I don't quite know where he is, so I'm trying to be careful. Hmm. We almost have this full point captured. I don't know where that pea shooter went. So I'm trying to keep an eye out for him. Oh, our team's getting even bigger. This is great, it's building up quite well. So I'm going to go ahead and throw that down and then let's get moving. Uh, what do you think you're doing? Nothing. All right, at times eight vanquish cheek. Oh, gotta be careful. Ow, I know pea shooter's trying to get me right now. I'm trying to get this guy though. That was just an assist, that sort of sinks. And where did the pea shooter go? He's way down that way. Somebody will get him, right? Yeah, okay. We're fine then. Throw on the speed boost, everybody get moving. We have the final point to deal with and this one could be a bit of a challenge. Did they have multiple space cadets? They have, yeah, two more. Oh wow. Yeah, so our team's really building up. So here we go, the final point for this map. They're doing pretty well. Sometimes it is worth to stick to the smaller teams. Um, but I also appreciate when there's more action because sometimes, you know, you'll be able to play with the four people that are in the match and it'll go grow larger. But sometimes, if you if you if you win too good or do just do too good, um, they have, they, they just end up leaving and that's not all too fun. Anyways, let's get you real quick if we can. One more shot, one more shot. That's all you need. Ah, oh, oh, almost got you. Come on, I gotta be able to get you. Oh, so close. Not even fair. Okay, set up the turret. Start going crazy, because I know they're gonna start going crazy on me. I got times 10 vanquish streak right now, and I want it to grow. Okay, did we get him? Did we get him? Oh, he is so close to getting taken out, but we didn't quite get him. Gotta be careful, because I'm, I'm not doing so well at the moment. I'm a bit beat up. But nobody is here to contest this. Oh no, I see your footsteps. I see your little footsteps. Come on, come on, yes! Okay, times 11 vanquish streak, here you come, no. I'm gonna try to ruin my fun. Oh my gosh, my aiming needs some work. Okay, well luckily he sort of kind of missed. Times 12 right now. Do we have this taken or not? Okay, here comes a pea shooter. Where is he? Throw it on the stun. Yes, okay, times 13. What point, I'm on point C. So right now we're definitely winning. Do we have the larger team? I have no clue. They're coming back over here though, I gotta be careful. Okay, that aiming's quite not right. Just trying to give them a hard time. Hmm. Okay, and that's it. Awesome, well I definitely, I think I got top vanquisher there. I think that I definitely got top vanquish streak. That was a lot of fun. Pretty good that we stuck with it. And hopefully next round goes just as well, but an excellent start for the Feast of His Master costume for Engineer. Always a really fun class to play. Not quite level 10 though, I don't think. So we'll have to get that next round and then between rounds we'll promote him and everything. But for right now we won on the TV map because I always forget its name. <laughs> but uh, yeah, after this we'll see if we got top vanquisher. It always takes a minute. <laughs> I think this is the longest ending to a turf takeover map. But yeah, there's a lot of new updates regarding Battle for Neighborville. I wanna talk about them mostly in next episode though, but they have confirmed new content. I'm really excited for it. Um, but like I said, I wanna save that for next episode. For right now though, let's see how we did with the engineer. Uh, I think we I think we would have gotten at least top vanquisher. Yes, okay, so we got top vanquisher. Looks like the, uh, the space cadet got top assist. What did the jackhammer jam? All right, Santa Claus knows how to jam out. We got also top healing somehow, I guess with our healing zombie. And, you know, top objective score. So some very good stuff. I think we're good to move to the next round. So we're back at it now on the defense. It took me a while because last round, I, it was forced me to play plants. Did pretty well with the pea shooter though. The game kept freezing on me. I don't know if that's gonna happen. I'm a little worried because it wasn't lag. It was like the game itself was freezing. I've never seen that happen in this game before, but let's see if it happens this round. Um, but yeah, I'm ready to go. We're almost level 10 with the engineer. I definitely wanna get set up in a nice spot and really just go for it. The game is definitely a bit jumpy, so that might also add to it, but we'll just have to wait and see. Did I see another Santa engineer? Look at us, we're twins. Oh, you have a fancy hat though. I don't have the fancy hat. Oh well, I'm just basic Santa engineer, oh well. I do see a couple of zombies moving forward. I don't know if I wanna be up here. This is probably pretty risky. 
but it looks like there's a couple coming down this way. So guess we could get set up like this and toss that down and see if this works. Am I in the range? I think I am. Oh, hello. That, that Snapdragon is moving. Okay, I might have to zoom off over this way and just sort of set up shots somewhere, somewhere else. So there we go. I mean, that's right next to his, so maybe that's a little bit rude. Who knows? I don't see any of the plants. I thought they would maybe catch up a little bit faster. There's a nightcap up that way. Oh, th there's also an acorn. Let me throw the stun down like that. Oh, that worked out perfectly. <laughs> Come on, get him. Yeah, first vanquish of the round. Not too bad. Maybe I'll put it on this side. Maybe that'd be more productive. That way, if I need to, I can stand on this one, shoot some things from this angle. Hey, who was it? Don't, don't destroy my stuff. Whoa, you destroyed my stuff. Not cool. Hey, run, run, somebody's right by me about to take me out. Okay, they're rushing into this and actually doing some good stuff, ow. Was there somebody else behind me? There was. Okay, mistakes were made. Well, that's all right, we'll, we'll figure it out. So far, not as stellar of a round as last time, but that's bound to happen. You let's get some extra speed, because we already have the speed up for when we respawn, but then on top of that, we get that. Works out pretty well. Now let's spawn in some stuff here. Nobody ever bothers with this one. Oh, hello. Do you see me? Ah, uh, not quite gonna reach you. Oh well. Okay, let's quickly plonk this down, throw down the sun. I'm getting beat up so fast. That was that was a little overzealous of me, I suppose. But somebody's reviving me. Thank you, I think that's electric slide. Thank you very much. Okay, get back out there right away. I'm just trying to see where the enemies are. Because honestly, they've been tough. Who? How? Why am I just so unlucky? I just turned a corner and there's another plant. Okay, so this one's turning out not so well so far. Just having a hard time staying on the point of defending without getting beaten beaten up pretty quickly. Oh, did they take it? No, 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 okay, it sort of looked weird. I guess I just sort of spawned into a slightly different spot. But they're trying to move in. I just need to get out there. There's some, the number of engineers here, not many of them are moving. Okay, come on, jeez. Uh, I guess I'm going too far. So far, all I've done so far this round is run in and get vanquished, so that's not good. I mean, I don't know what, what's going on with my team. It seems like my team has gotten smaller. <laughs> Why are people leaving? They're taking this super quick now. They definitely have like a really good organized push going on. And this not, might, might not be the best long-term strategy, but I wanna hold them back here as long as possible. So I'm trying to find out where they're coming in from. Ow, and of course the Citron sneaks up on me every time he's got my number. I don't understand. <laughs> Cause it was a Citron behind me that just stunned me there. Didn't even see him, didn't even have a chance. Oh my gosh, this is not going well. But that was only the first point. To be honest with you, that point can be a bit difficult to defend on during certain circumstances. So let's see, first off, if I can make this jump. This point is typically easier to defend. If I said this turret correctly, which I didn't really, he's already trying to destroy it. I'm just gonna hide over here. Oh, you know what? I usually sit up over this way, but they're so good at hitting me. Why is the team full of professionals? I don't understand. That is crazy. I just can't even move. So each time I'm just gonna try a different approach and see if that helps at all. So I tried just being on the point. I don't know if that's gonna work too well. Okay, that nightcap is vanquished. Okay, what are you doing here? Somebody vanquished you, thank goodness. It wasn't me, but it could have been. Just they, they're definitely working with long distance shots right now, so I need to be directly behind this. Along with it, I can't get Dr. Heels right now, so I might as well do something else. I know there's a nightcap up there. I see you. Okay, got rid of him, that's good. The problem is when they're over here, nice, we reached level 10. We'll have to do that uh, between rounds. Who's over here? Okay, there was just a weed. Actually, no, there's you, good, good. No, my turret! Okay, ooh, get her, get her, get her, get her, get her! Yes! Okay, I'm stuck, but I got out, that's good, okay. Let me toss that stun down that way. I guess if not anything else, I got rid of the, the dandelion. And we're back. The thing I'm worried about, though, is there's, oh, there's a citron up here, I got him a little bit, that's for sure. Oh, hello, oh, you're gone, you're gone, good. Where did that citron go? He's over here. Can I get him? I can at least beat him up a little bit. Just a little bit. Just try to give him a hard time because I know that he's gonna give me a hard time if I don't. But that's why I wanna get here. This is usually a decent spot for everything. I, yeah, you're not my team. I don't know why I'm not attacking you. 
Okay, so we, we get a challenge complete. I think that was for doing damage. Pretty cool. So it looks like our team has pushed back a little bit more. There we go. Get him at least a little bit. See, now he can't actually, oh no! Hey, 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 turret down again. There we go, because mine was about to get destroyed there. So might as well place down a new one while I have the chance, because if not, the, re the, the uh, oh gosh. Oh gosh, a cooldown of it resets. Okay, this is getting really crowded. I don't know what to do about this. I want to get rid of this guy. I don't think that's the best idea at the moment. Somehow, we've made this work. I'm about to get vanquished though, so I need to chill by Dr. Heels for a minute and maybe attack you in the meantime. Okay, got him. All healed up, thank you, Dr. Heels. It's always a good spot to put him. I see a nightcap down that way. She's gone for now. Uh, how about over here? Eh, not quite reaching. Hmm. Okay, where is he going? So a couple of them are getting tired of me attacking the way I am. They're probably gonna try to go around this way. Just gotta be careful of that. Can we shoot through this little? Oh, we can, cool. <laughs> But the good thing about staying in the range of the turret is you can just keep attacking and never have to worry about reloading, um, just because it does that for you naturally. The only problem, oh no, is when that happens, and on top of that, not having good aim. Did I get attacked with two attacks? I think that, yeah, Citron spin dashed me, and I think it, uh, a Snapdragon slammed me at the same time, that's crazy. Okay, now we're really moving. Get back out of that point, or back to the point, as soon as we can. They're taking it quick, though. Not what we want. Let's slam this down and just go crazy as much as I can. They're gonna destroy that quick. Dr. Heels, no! <laughs> I don't even know if he was available. Jeez, but the, the plant team has been doing excellent at sort of having these organized pushes as a group, which is exactly what you need when you're on the attack team. Hard to do anything about it, really. Okay, I probably shouldn't be going this way. Just gotta be careful. Let's quickly spawn something in. I wanna spawn in the trash can bot and then get beat up by everybody everywhere. Yeah, I'm not gonna be able to do that by myself, but at the same time, do we still have the smaller team? No, well, we're up to eight people. I'm doing okay, five vanquishes is all right, but it looks like they got this one. Jeez, that's a bummer. And just like last time, let's try to make it as difficult as we can for them to at least get out of here. Don't know how long that's gonna happen, um, but I can just sort of launch a couple of shots down this way for now, and just really make it difficult for them. Just like that. Let's stack up a couple of vanquishes, huh? That'd be good. Got her, okay. Pea shooter's over this way. Got him, that's what I'm talking about. Okay, let's throw down another one because this one's health is about to go away. I know they're gonna start going from different angles and stuff too, but for right now, I know there's a pea shooter down this way. <laughs> I'm taking every advantage I can, all right? There we go, there we go. Oh, oh, no, wait, can I get him, can I get him? Not quite. His health was very low though. But that, I was able to hold back basically their entire team for like a solid 30 seconds to a minute. That's what I wanna see. Okay. So let's get to the old fort and basically set up our own little fort within the fort. Hmm, oh yeah, let's also do this because a lot of people neglect to do it. And as you'd expect, we'll just set it up here. And this is actually a pretty good spot because we can actually stand in the opening and attack while still, you know, doing everything we gotta do. I'll set up some speed boosts. If they come in on this side, which it looks like they are, it's not as easy to deal with. Come on, come on, how did that not hit him at all? I don't know. Oh, okay, I thought that chomper was still alive. That, that sort of scared me. Oh, hello, 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 no. Can I get you, can I get you? No, I can't. That was mostly my bad aim. Engineer definitely takes a moment to get used to. Will the, the multiple space cadets revive me? They will, thank you. Okay, because the space cadets right now, yeah, there's four of them there. They're doing real good. They're doing really, really good. So we're just gonna set up another turret right off the bat. There's a chomper moving in or at least trying to. And if they stay in this zone, they could get some extra attack speed too. Maybe I should set it up farther back so that they can be more often supported by it, something like this. There we go. Obviously, it's, it's more vulnerable from this angle, but at the same time, if they're getting an attack boost from it, I think it'll balance out. You know what they say, a good defense is a great offense, or the other way around. A little bit of both. Okay, ow. That was not good. They're destroying me super duper quick. 
I mean, honestly, the engineer's a pretty easy target to hit most of the time. Wow, the pea shooter got rid of all of those space cadets though. That is not good. So they're all gonna be spawning in in a second, so let's throw down that speed boost. Can't believe that, though. that was nasty. And they're taking it quick. Let's give this guy a hard time if I can, but I can't do this for too long because they are capturing this point super quick. Throw this down, just like that. Start attacking the chopper. Got him, that's good. Pi prize bulb granted, thank you very much. Okay, we're doing what we can for right now. Is there a nightcap somewhere? I hear a nightcap, I don't see one though. We'll put them the speed boost so that everybody's just running around. No, I don't know where that was. What, how did I not get you? That was baloney. I swear that went right through him. Okay, well that was unfortunate, because if I could have just hit him once, we would have been fine, we would have survived. I don't think this soldier's gonna revive us, but he might. Might as well hold on for a second. Oh, here he goes. But will the chomper get him? Oh, oh, it was close, real close. He had to run away. I understand. I'll throw it in the speed boost. Let's try to get out there as soon as we can. So they've only gotten the first checkpoint for this one. It's been a pretty exciting round now. I, I've, I've been liking it. Okay, so set this up right now. I know that these guys, oh, but they stunned me. Citron had the same mindset. So our heavy helper was destroyed. I need to back out then. At least make it seem like I'm running away. Oh, was there a Citron? No, not a Citron, a Chomper. Well, let's get rid of that, speaking of Chomper. Okay, so I think that our turret was just bested up over here. I can't, it's a little too crowded. Okay, throw down the stun. There he is, get him. Nice, that was pretty good. Okay, he doesn't see me, so that was what, a double vanquish? I'm not really sure, I guess it was just a single. Try to beat this guy up a little bit because he's gonna be a problem as he gets closer. There we go, once you break down his shield, it's not so bad. Oh no, 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 get her quick, get her quick, get her quick. Okay, somebody got her, <laughs> wasn't really me. Okay, so we're holding on right now. Are you still, are you vanquished? I can't tell. There we go, <laughs> just trying to find that sweet spot with the aiming. I'm sure the more I played Engineer, the more I'd get used to that kind of thing. There's just so many classes in the game at this point. Do I still have the bonus attack from here? I think I do, oh nice. Okay, so they only have a minute left to push through this. I don't know if they're going to be able to. I mean, for our sake, hopefully they don't. But yeah, things are going pretty well. So, now might be a good time. Have they just sort of backed off? Where are they? Oh gosh, be careful. Run, 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 he tried to get me there. Oh boy, be careful. Okay, somebody got him. I guess there might be some zombies running around doing some major work right now because I just, I don't really see too many people. That didn't quite get her. Yeah, there must be some guys on the roof or something. Oh gosh, they're trying to attack me. Where is she, she's over there. Hmm. Because they can sit there and attack all they want, but if they can't get in here, they're not gonna be able to get a win. They're not even pushing overtime right now. Oh boy, here we go. Watch out for Snapdragon. He almost did it, but not quite. Sunflower rushes in. I'm so sorry, can't let that happen. Snapdragon, they were definitely all trying to get in the push overtime. Couldn't quite make it, better luck next round. But those first two points, they destroyed, look at all the space cadets in the fort. That's funny. We're gonna go back to uh, Giddy Park now to promote the engineer and probably go for one more round. So let's go ahead and promote the engineer. I'm trying not to look around too much because I'm gonna be taking a look at all of this in the next episode. But right now, I actually looked at our time. It looks like we're pretty far into today's episode, so I might just finish it off with this. Ready for the promotion from specialist to elite, reinforced utility upgrade, increased health of the deployed bullhorns, which is okay. And then dispersion area of effect upgrade, cover larger area with bullhorn swarm. That seems like it could be pretty good, but it also is three points, which is a little pricey. Anyways, getting the engineer from specialist to elite, good to get some levels on him recently playing the elf and the S Santa versions of him. But with that, all of the Feast of His specific costumes have now been showcased. I'm so happy about that. And starting next episode, we'll be getting our Snow Day Adventure. That is the new event that's going on right now. It should be a lot of fun. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighborville. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.